So welcome everyone. Uh, again, I'm Marta Vila, part of the Android team, and I will be facilitating together with, um, with Jose and Jaime that will introduce themselves in a minute. Um, during the Academy, you will see more facilitators. We are more than 100 uh, participants. So we, in the troubleshooting sessions, we will be having support from more, more members of the Android team, but they will introduce themselves um, as they come. So if you're not presenting, please, uh, uh, or if you are a participant, please uh, remember to keep your camera off. And um, I'm gonna give the word to either Jose, Jaime, Marin, Grant, Alice. Uh, I can't. Yes. Uh, hi everyone. I, I am Jose, part of the Android team as well. Uh, I think I know you. I know uh, many of you guys. And yeah, I think that uh, I, I am very happy to see like many people here that are interested in in know more about Android. So yeah, I hope we have we everyone have a a very nice academy, and we can have a lot of fun as well. Hi, that's you now. Uh, you cannot unmute Martin. We have uh, yes, Jaime yes. blocked. We like Jaime. Let him talk. <laughs> we will get Jaime unblocked if he's in here. <laughs> can I do the? Ah, I can do it. Ask to unmute. Yeah. Jaime, can you? Yeah. Thank you for letting me talk. Hello and welcome, everybody. So, my name is Jaime Bosque. You probably know me from the community. I know some of you. I'm seeing some faces here that I know. I'm really happy to be here. Next week, we're going to be sharing a lot of uh, intensive lessons. So I hope you have a nice weekend and you're ready to start uh, with a lot of energy next week. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jaime. I think, Marin, you can go next. You say Martin? <laughs> I say Martin. Martin. Oh. Hello, guys. I am uh, Martin Evanson, uh, here from uh, Oslo, Norway. I am a facilitator for the Digital Academies, and also I am uh, working as support for the online academies that you, some of you may be familiar with already, the self-paced course as well. I'll be glad to help you out, trying to get you into the Zoom sessions, into the uh, learning platform we have. And uh, yeah, just feel free to send me a question if you have any technical issues with that. However, if you have any questions about Android implementation, that I'm not the person for that, okay? Great, that's for me. <laughs> okay. I don't know if uh, we need Grant or Alice. Uh, or if you... Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Alice. Um, I've been in touch with each of you at least once, so it's very nice to see you. It's our great pleasure to welcome you to this academy, the final level two academy actually of the year. So welcome everyone and I hope you will have a very fruitful academy. As we mentioned um, earlier, my colleagues Grant, Martin and myself are available if you need any kind of support. And yes, welcome once again and have a very, very nice academy. Thank you. There you go, Grant. Good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry, my name's uh, Grant Chapman Clark. I uh, am responsible for building the back end uh, of the learning platform that you'll be using, and I'll be running you through how to uh, use it in a little bit. So, uh, uh, good morning from cold and brisk London. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. So Grant and Martin uh, and, and uh, we'll be explaining you later about the, the platform, etc. But uh, for now, I think uh, everyone can see my screen. Uh, Jaime or Jose, can you? Yes. yes, we can see your screen. Thank you, Alice. So um, the first thing we want to do is to explain you a bit. You may have seen it in the agenda, but just an overview of what are we going to do during coming week, next week, um, in the five days that we have uh, for the Academy. So day one, two, and three, we are going to be focusing on the Android app. Um, we assume that you know DHIS2, that's why it's a level two Academy, that's why we were a bit insisting in the registration form and with the follow-up question, because we really need you to know DHIS2, we need you to know data sets, we need you to know programs, we need you to know tracker, because what we are doing here is just to tell you how whatever you have done 
reflects or translates to the Android app and which adjustments you can do to improve the user experience in, a, in the mobile device. Um, in any case, don't worry if you don't feel very confident. Uh, we are going to give you metadata that is already prepared. You don't have to configure uh, DHAs2, but you need to know what is there and what is configured. I think we will be fine. But uh, so, so one day one, two, and three, we will be doing that. We will uh, connect the Android app to the server. We will learn, learn how to how to how the program rules, the geospatial uh, representation, the visual configurations, the program indicators and legends work in the HIS2. Day four, we are going to change a bit and we are going to talk about the deployment, the implementation. Uh, we have been uh, learning that having mobile devices distributed in remote places is a challenge in many senses. It has impact in your security, in your um, uh, device management, it has impact on your users. So we will focus on and your testing, your planning, budgeting. So we will focus on, on, on implementation and practical recommendations on day four. And then on day five, um, we will, well, day five, day five is the exam day. <laughs> there will be a, a, a test uh, for you to pass the, the course. Don't worry, it will not be difficult as long as you pay attention and do the exercises, it should be fine. We will also explain you where are we in the community, how to reach out to us or contribute to the app, and we will share the, the, um, the long-term roadmap of the Android app. One thing that will happen on day five, I will talk about it later, is that we would like to hear from you and we would like to hear from your projects. But let's, um, let's explain a bit more later. How are we going to organize every day? Uh, one challenge for the, this is the first time that we do uh, an Android Academy online. So it's a bit challenging for us. Uh, it was a bit challenging for us to compress uh, the content that we give usually in five or more full days into three hours a day uh, during five days. That's why we are having the day zero today and not next week, because every minute is planned from Monday. So, so we are proposing, this is a generic uh, structure. So the breaks and sessions may vary a bit, but in general, we are planning short sessions in which we talk for 15 minutes and then you play with the app uh, for 15 minutes. Uh, or make an exercise. And then we are having or adding uh, troubleshooting sessions at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. Um, and I will talk more about that later. Of course, on Monday, we don't have a troubleshooting session and, um, uh, in the morning because we have not started yet. So hopefully you will not have questions. Um, so the sessions, the troubleshooting sessions, every day before and after, uh, we have done that so that you are able to join from hopefully wherever you are in the planet. So, so we hope it accommodates for you. We will be there from nine to 10. Sorry, I'm using Oslo time now. Uh, so from one hour before today, <laughs> we will be available every day from day two. And then we will stay one more hour after the, the sessions finished. Um, every day from one from day one to four, so Monday, Thursday. Uh, the idea is to help you uh, go through the exercises. The idea is to troubleshoot and, and answer your questions if you cannot manage to have the exercises done. It's intended for doubts about the sessions. However, if you have a real server, if you are already struggling with anything, please reach out to us. We will find the best way to do it, we, to, to support. We have to prioritize the questions from the sessions. But if you have other questions, of course, we can, you can also share them. And if time is not enough there, we will find a way to allocate time for you. But hopefully, we will finish on Friday with everybody happy with whatever you need to do with the Android. So there are other type of, of, of sessions that I didn't talk about, but they are here. Also at the end of the day, uh, the use cases and expert launches. So we have two use case presentations and expert launches. We will be having a presentation from uh, Dominic uh, that will present the, the national TV implementation in Ghana, which is quite recent uh, from this year. They had already HIV implemented and this year they implemented the TV program. 
So we will have um, that use case presented. And then we will have Andrew from uh, Rwanda explaining us how the Ministry of Health uh, did set up a paperless system for the uh, lab sample processing uh, in the country for COVID testing. This was presented, maybe you know already both of them. I hope uh, most of you don't, and it's interesting. And then they will stay for one hour with us, uh, just uh, aiming to answer your questions about real implementations. And, and, and I don't know, you, you can make any questions, but I think the interesting part is that they have been doing an implementation from a Ministry of Health, both in Ghana and in Rwanda. So any questions regarding whatever logistics management uh, processes protocols teams uh, that you might have it's 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 the moment to make them uh, to them which are actually the field experience and and they come with with real first hand uh, um, and very recent experiences and then on friday friday is your day we would like to to i think we have a bit more than one hour on friday to listen to you what we would like to know is uh, what are your plans? Uh, maybe you already have a project that uses the Android app. Maybe you are planning to use it. Maybe you are just testing. Everything is interesting. So we would like to to hear from you. We will organize. We will organize the um, the session. We would like to allocate slots for everyone, not more than ten minutes each one. So you don't need to actually prepare if you don't have. You can just explain it. But it, it's very useful to share uh, that with the rest so we can all learn from each other. We are also aware of what are you doing so that it helps when we see your, your questions. So please don't be shy and reach out to us uh, to, to tell us that you want to share. We, we need you to tell us that you want to present and then we will allocate time for you on Friday. These practicalities, uh, we, you don't need them now, but only for you to know that we will we we will be working in a in a online in a training server for the academy. We will be using the metadata, um, which is an adapted version of the COVID package that uh, was released by UIO. Jaime will tell you more about that on mon on Monday. Uh, the version we will use 2.3, the training version because we want to share screen. So in case you want to download it already, it's 2.3. The training version is available on GitHub. And then we will work with the HIS2 version 2.34. So it's not the last. Last is 2.35. We will be in 2.34. And you will have two user accounts that you will receive on Monday as well, one as a server admin and one for the mobile user. You will learn that we can, we should not have the same configuration for this kind of users. So you will receive two. And this is all from me. I'm gonna hand over um, control of the session to the academy team to explain us more about the DHIS2 Academy, about the communication channels that we will be using, some recordings, and more about the expert lunches. And then we will get come back for, for questions. Thank you. I think it's on, on to me now. Good morning, everyone. Um, and thanks, Martha. Um, so yeah, as I kind of briefly mentioned before, my name is uh, Grant chapman Clark. I've uh, built the uh, back end of the uh, website that you will be uh, launching and submitting all of your daily activities and such to. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go over that for you now. Um, as Martha's already pointed out, that's going to be a really um, rapidly paced uh, academy so it's, it's uh, great to, um, to to see where all of this stuff is uh, as soon as so let me just um, boot up how it all works so hopefully you've uh, been on on the DHIS2 Academy site um, before. I uh, recognise a few uh, faces uh, and you should have all um, booted into uh, the Academy uh, well, into the Zoom call today through through this. Um, but if you haven't, um, I'll just do a quick run through of how to uh, get in and how to uh, submit some of your activities and uh, and such. So <clears throat> uh, every day you just need to go to uh, academy.dhis2.org, uh, hit the sign in button, and then sign in with your uh, email and password. 
that you've uh, signed up to with before. Select the Android in Implementers Academy. Uh, and every day you'll be uh, taken, the first thing you'll see every day is uh, this, this page. If there's any updates um, to the course, if something's changed, if the timing's changed, if um, there's been a particular issue um, with a submission or if we've uh, extended a submission deadline, uh, you'll find out about it here as well as in the Slack channels as well. So if you don't see the Slack notification, uh, which my colleague Martin will go over shortly, uh, you'll see it here. You can also find uh, just a few uh, useful uh, links here. So you can find the agenda to the course, which I'll take you to in a moment, uh, a Zoom guide if you're not sure on how to use Zoom, um, as well as uh, an email address that you can send any queries um, if you've got any issues or anything like that at all, um, or the uh, link to the Slack channel on the course as well. Uh, but every day uh, you'll want to come into uh, the course. So uh, you'll start off in the Home tab, uh, and you'll need to go to the course tab. Um, you're about to see a full um, version of what the uh, academy will look like by the end of day five. Um, but each of these days, as you can see, day one, day two, day three, day four, uh, you won't be able to see those yet. Um, as a student, they will um, appear on the day um, that, that um, uh, in, in question. So the day one, um, page will, will be released um, at midnight uh, uh, UTC um, uh, on, on, on the uh, day of each of, uh, each of the academies. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, when you uh, start each day, you can um, open up uh, each of the days here and you'll have a number of different tabs here. Um, so you can find a bit more information about certain things. I'll, I'll show you the day one tab in a moment, just to uh, take you around. Um, but the first thing that you'll see uh, on, on this one, you can see uh, just some general information about the course. So there's information just about uh, what you need to do on each day of the course, again, as well as uh, some links. You'll also find the full agenda uh, in the day zero, if you haven't already gone through here. Uh, and this is just a list of all of the um, parts that you'll be doing on the day. Um, but when it comes to each of the day, you'll have each of the days you'll have uh, a, a few things that you'll need to do. Um, so you'll need to open up the day one, uh, and we do require that you uh, submit your attendance uh, and that you've attended the course. In fact, um, the attendance uh, box that you'll need to check um, each day will actually make up um, a ten percent of. of your passing grade. So when it comes to um, checking your attendance, all you need to do um, is select the attendance tab and you'll see a drop down menu. There's only one option, it's just present, and then you'll need to select check. Um, the attendance tab for each of the days is only available um, to be submitted um, on, on that day. So uh, you just need to select check and you'll, you'll be able to go on that. Um, so furthermore, <clears throat> um, you can download each of the uh, presentations that will be available for the days. Um, so we've got a couple of the ones uh, in here already, but we do need to upload a few more as there's a lot of uh, presentations. Uh, and you'll be able to download um, a, Power, a PowerPoint version of the presentation as well as a PDF um, for each of the presentations as well. Uh, and finally, um, each day you'll, you'll have a, um, an activity or a series of activities to do. And each of the activities for this, um, for, for this academy uh, will require you to take a screenshot um, of, of a particular activity that you've uh, completed. You'll find information about each of the activities in here, and, and I'm sure Marta and um, and Jamie and, and Jose and um, the other facilitators will um, explain what it is you need to do. You'll need to um, take a screenshot of the, activity, the, the completed activity um, on, on your device uh, and then um, save that, um, that screenshot onto a, a Word document, a Google Docs document, something that you can save as a, a PDF um, or a, an image. I highly recommend that you export the saved file um, as a PDF. Uh, and then you'll need to come to this um, submission box here where you select 
for the brows, I'm just going to pop a, um, I'll just pop a, ba, 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 a PDF in here just for the moment so I can just show you what you need to do. So you'll need to select browse, pop the PDF in, um, and then enter some information into this text box. So I'm just going to put in the world, in the, in the, in the coding, select upload your file, and then it will say view the file associated with submission, but that means that the file is uploaded, and then you can um, submit uh, your response. I'm not going to respond there. Um, for each activity, you might have multiple instances uh, of, of these submission things. So you'll need to complete for each exercise a separate um, a separate PDF and upload it um, there. Um, all of the daily activities combined um, equal 45% um, of your uh, total, total grade. And the final exam uh, which I'm, I believe uh, Martha and Amy are um, still working on, uh, will be a multiple choice um, exercise, which is sim uh, simply a tick the correct answer box that will be available uh, on, on day five. Um, and that will also be worth 45%. So the total grading for the course will be 45% for the daily activities, 45% for the final exam, and 10% for that attendance um, check as well. Um, the final thing that we would really, really love you to do uh, in, in, the, um, in the DHIS2 Academy page each day is the feedback. We really love to get your feedback so we can improve um, each of the academies we work on as well as the um, online um, digital academies like the fundamentals course that I'm sure all of you have taken. Um, and you simply select the feedback uh, and, and it's just a simple Google form. Um, again, in that kind of multiple choice kind of um, thing. So, so we can say the day one and go through all of those and simply uh, submit your response um, at the end of the day. Um, I think that is pretty much all from me at this stage. Um, so I'm going to hand over to uh, Martin who will just walk you through some of the communication um, channels. Uh, and thank you very much. Thank you, Grant. Thank you very much. I will now just give you a very quick introduction to the Slack. Some of you already are familiar with it through other courses and your jobs, but uh, I'm assuming Ooh. that some of you are not. Sorry, so I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention one thing about the daily recordings. Um, you'll be able. Uh, each of the sessions uh, will be recorded. You'll be able to find the. Um, session recordings uh, in the Zoom session channel uh, at the top of the uh, link, but we'll also be um, uploading the, um, the Zoom sessions to YouTube because the, the Zoom links will, will wipe out after a week. So we'll be uploading them to YouTube and you'll be able to find each of the daily sessions uh, in the same page after the Academy is finished. Uh, in the today's presentations and session recordings section. Sorry, all from me. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. Uh, I'm sure we can just quickly show them this uh, functionality on Monday as well, just to, to show them where you can find this recording. Great. Okay, I will now share my screen. Just give me a moment. So oh, you should now be able to see my Slack screen. Uh, the first channel you'll be uh, entering is the one we call announcements. Uh, it's also sort of like a general channel. Here, this is where we will be posting some of the major announcements in the course. Uh, feel free to you know, message us there if you want to, but uh, we have also other channels for that. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can just choose another channel. For instance, let's go to the uh, Ask About Android channel by clicking here. Here, we can uh, ask questions about uh, anything related to the course content, Android implementation, all that stuff you want for this course. So feel free to ask. And if you want to ask a specific instructor, like if I want to ask Marta, I can just have at first and then write the message to Marta. So that's the, this is for the, uh, mostly for the course content. Uh, the expert lounge is something we're going to use later in the course, uh, where we're going to have Q and A with specific instructors or even other people from the HISP groups who will be answering questions live. Uh, you can also use it to talk to each other, ask questions, network, everything you want. 
for your Android implementation needs. Very useful channel. Uh, introduce yourself. I hope uh, I see quite a lot of you already have uh, found this channel. This is great. Uh, feel free to just introduce yourself here with uh, whatever you want to talk about yourself. And uh, that's all for it. Random channel. Uh, there is nothing here right now, but if you want to have something that has nothing to do with Android or the core, uh, Academy, feel free. Uh, it's, it's an open channel. Uh, pictures or memes or jokes or whatever you want, as long as it's, of course, uh, uh, not unsuitable, uh, it should be fine in here. And uh, probably most important for me is this one called technical support. I think this is the best place for you to send your issues. If you have problem accessing course content, the course pages, Zoom, anything like that for this course, this is where you want to do it. Uh, just pop message here. You can also at, at me as well, uh, Martin. Uh, but you don't need to. I will be trying to monitor this channel as much as I can. Uh, if you were to ask your questions in one of the other channels, I will probably try to find it as well, but it will take a bit longer time. So I will I recommend using the technical support. All right. And anything that doesn't fit in these channels, I already gone through. Uh, you can also use the Android Implementers, Android Implementers Digital Academy as well uh, for, for anything else. If you want to find other channel and you don't see them here, you can go here uh, on the channels, click on the plus icon, and then browse channels to see if there are any other channels you've missed. All open channels should be available here. And as you can see, I have all the channels already added, so I don't need to do that. Uh, I will also close this side panel here. Other than that, a direct message, you can directly message me, for instance. Uh, by clicking here, writing in my name, and type the message. It will usually pop up in a different uh, window. And apparently, yes, you can message yourself. Okay, uh, if there are any questions, feel free to, uh, again, ask it in technical support or any other place, and uh, we'll get back to that. So thank you. I think that's all for the uh, Slack for now. Um, thank you, Martin. Just wanted to add something about Slack and particularly about the Experts Lounge. So we will have the great pleasure to welcome on Tuesday um, Dominic from the Ghana team who will be doing a presentation from 1 to 1.30. Following this presentation, he will be available for one hour to reply to your questions, whether it's related to his presentation or whether it's related to um, your projects in, in um, related to uh, Android implementations or your local context and any tips you may want, you will be able to, um, to ask these on the Experts Lounge channel on Slack that Martin has um, has shown you so if you have not if you don't see this channel don't hesitate to join so that you can actively participate in the expert lounge so it will it will be hosted from 1 30 to 2 30 pm on tuesday and then on thursday the same goes with Andrew, one of our experts for East Africa region. Um, he will basically do a presentation also from 1 p.m. to 1.30. And then from 1.30 to 2.30, Andrew will be available to reply to your questions, whether it's related to his presentation or whether you want to get some tips uh, related to your Android project in your local context. So same also, if you are interested in participating actively in this experts lounge, whether it's for Dominic, and Ghana or Andrew for Rwanda, please don't hesitate to make sure that you join this channel and also um, stay connected on Tuesday and on Thursday from 1.30 to participate in this experts lounge. So this was, yeah, main thing that I wanted to add. And another thing also is that obviously this academy will be hosted only on working days. So there will be no session on Saturday, no session on, Monday, on, on Sunday, sorry. We will start again next Monday, 23rd November. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alice. Right, so uh, over to you, I think, Marta. Do you have anything else? Thank you, Martin and Alice and Grant for your great support with uh, all this logistics and organization. 
Um, I don't have anything else. I would like to ask if anyone here has a question or doubt, anything you would like to, to share in preparation for next week. Or I'm trying to open the chat. on the participants list just to see. I, I actually don't like that we don't have cameras. I don't know if that's a rule, but I, I, I like to see people. And it's it's very strange to do this remotely. Hey, Enzo, <laughs> uh, I, I wish we could do it in person. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for switching on. Uh, just remember it's being recorded. So if you have an image data protection issues don't switch on hello everyone thank you thank you for that it's way more human hello wow look at all these faces <laughs> we even have manu dancing hello it's very nice to see all of you so i'm gonna check with the team if if uh, why we have to be without cameras but for now i really like seeing all of you do we have any questions let me check the chat so it's just you? when the uh yeah. oh sorry it's just for when the um full academy is on so it's okay to do it at times like this but when we're sharing screens and everything if everyone's got the um cameras on it can just slow the connection and just make it difficult for people yeah, uh, in good in uh, low connection.